Expect more. This is Channel 6 News at 10. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. Tonight, the NTSB is joining the investigation into what caused a train carrying Republican lawmakers to crash in Virginia this morning, killing one person and injuring others. Central Texas representatives Roger Williams, John Carter and Bill Flores were all on board, but none of them were hurt. Channel 6 News reporter Amani Payne spoke with those congressmen after their scary situation. Amani, how are they doing? Doug and Leslie, the congressmen are doing OK tonight, but they say it's a tragic incident they'll never forget. Over the phone, I know it's been a harrowing day for all of you that were involved in today's train accident. Vice President Mike Pence speaking at the GOP congressional retreat in West Virginia after an Amtrak train carrying Republican lawmakers, their families and staff to that retreat collided with a garbage truck. Mass casualty incident level one. Train versus truck. One person in the truck was killed. Two Amtrak workers and two passengers suffered minor injuries, but no lawmakers were seriously hurt. Some on board happened to be doctors and sprang into action. I can't find a pulse. Dr. Rowe can't find a pulse, so we started CPR. Central Texas lawmakers Bill Flores, John Carter, and Roger Williams were all on the train. Flores claims the truck tried to cross the tracks too late and says the train didn't even have time to hit the brakes before slamming into the truck. There's just a huge bang and the train, the train shuddered violently. You know, there were a couple of folks in there that were standing up in the aisle. They were thrown to the floor. I mean, it's, it's amazing the impact that happens when you have a, a train and a truck collide with each other. Something I'll remember for a long time. While Representative Carter tells me, Today's accident is a heartbreaking tragedy. My deepest condolences go out to the family that lost their loved one in the accident, and my thoughts continue to be with those that were injured. And Representative Williams says, please keep praying for everyone who was involved and hurt in the collision. An NTSB spokesman says investigators will spend the next several days at the site of the crash to determine what caused this fatal accident. Doug and Leslie. All right, thanks, Imani.